This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Snow in the forecast as we go through the evening hours. We're going to have snow showers and then snow uh, through the late night hours. A few flurries left around tomorrow morning as temps fall into the teens overnight. So what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at widespread snow, especially tonight. Light to some moderate accumulations. It's going to stay cool and active really all week with some flurries possible again by the end of the week. Well, let's go back to yesterday, shall we? High temperature, 72 degrees. That broke a record set back in 1934 of 70 in Scott's Bluff. Yeah, that was a record high. There were several record highs across the area yesterday. Nothing in the rain gauge to get started here for the month of February. Look at these highs where we were yesterday. 81 degrees in Ogallala. That's 76 in Sydney is a record. So is this 70 in Alliance, 71 in Torrington, 67 in Cheyenne. Those all set records of 70 in Pine Bluff, 74 in Kimball. And then a little small pocket of some where that cold air got trapped yesterday. 47 in both Shadron and Gordon yesterday. Everywhere else, uh, record highs uh, for Sunday. Boy, temperatures on Groundhog Day were beautiful. Now the Groundhog... Uh, did not see a shadow, so that means springs around the corner. Unfortunately, we uh, took the wrong advice from the groundhog and went the opposite direction from where we've been. We have winter weather advisories out here for the southern portions of, or for most of the Nebraska panhandle, and then winter storm warnings off to the west of us. We even have a blizzard warning over here for the Rollins area through uh, Elk Mountain, uh, west of Centennial. That is where that blizzard warning remains in effect. We'll zoom out a little further, show you winter weather advisories go all the way into central Kansas here in our area, northeastern Colorado, and then right into uh, the eastern portions of Wyoming. That's where we upgrade those winter weather advisories to winter storm warnings. Temperatures, we told you it was 81 yesterday in Ogallala, remember? And uh, boy, we've uh, tumbled off that. That cold front has plowed through the region. It's 26 in Ogallala right now. So uh, do some quick math there. That's a 55 degree temperature change uh, over the past 24 hours in Ogallala. It's 20 in Alliance, 22 in Scotts Bluff, 14 right now in Cheyenne. And winds are certainly not calm. Strongest here off to the west uh, where we do have uh, some gustier breezes. Otherwise, the rest of us in the 10 to 20 mile an hour range, and that's dropping our wind chills into the single digits out there. So it is certainly cold and it's going to stay cold uh, through the nighttime and into tomorrow. A few flurries when you get on the bus tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid teens. Those flurries should come to an end on the way home. Just overcast skies and only into the low 20s tomorrow for a high temperature. So let's take a look at future cast. We'll stand over here so you can uh, watch the snow traverse across the area here this evening, becoming a little better widespread than by Late tonight into early tomorrow, the snow really starts to wind down across the region. Low temperatures tonight are going to fall into the upper single digits and low teens for all of us. Now for tomorrow, the snow showers really start to taper off by late morning. You can see here by 8, 9 o'clock, the system pulls away from us and we just have scattered snow flurries and snow showers. Then that should come to an end tomorrow evening and we're going to be left with clearing skies uh, for tomorrow night. And it's going to be a cold night coming tomorrow night as well. Highs tomorrow going to be cold only in the 20s, 13 for a high tomorrow in Cheyenne. Snowfall, we've got a band of some moderate snow in a few locations. Could pick up two to four inches for many of us uh, by the time we're all said and done. One to two to two to four inches looks like a pretty good bet. Maybe slightly more there around the Ogallala area and you can see uh, that tapers off by Valentine. We're not forecasting any snow there across the region. So Periods of snow, two to three inches, probably going to be a pretty good bet overnight. Low temperatures falling into the teens tomorrow. Some morning flurries, that's about it. 24 for a high. So once we kick those flurries out of here, it's going to be just uh, downright chilly tomorrow. And then our seven-day forecast, uh, we warm up a bit on Thursday, but we'll have some winds to contend with, only to fall back down uh, for, uh, for Friday into Saturday. Temperatures back into the 30s to near 40, and we'll hold in that temperature range through Monday of next week. We don't see any big snows uh, coming beyond tonight. Uh, just some off and on flurries, colder temps, and certainly more active than what we've had over the last several days.